too early to to critique him, you know. I was questioning why he pulled Hamels the other night, but it sounds like Hamels wasn't feeling too well. He said he was pitching actually pretty well. But uh, we'll see. We'll see. They're on right now. I'll give you a score as soon as my phone cooperates. This is all brought to you by the Classic Radio Roundup. Fine folks on channel 13, 27115. You should give us a uh, shameless plug to your father's, father's show. You know, um, where's that at on the AM band? He's on AM. Is it over in, uh, you said Warminster or something? No, he's on the frequency modulated broadcast band, FM 89.3. Uh, Tuesday mornings, WDRV, I think that's right, is it, yeah, yeah, DRV, 89.3, now they're out of, like, Warminster, Hatboro, that area, and, uh, there's a couple of other relay stations out of Philadelphia, low power, it's a public broadcasting station, you can find them at, uh, WDRV.org, and, uh, they're streaming live on the internet, but Tuesday mornings, 8 to noon, you get live with Ted Taylor playing your favorite oldies from the big band era. Well, that's cool. I think my Grundig receiver would pick that up. I can pick it up in my car radio right at work. Pretty much as soon as I leave work, it starts mixing with a station from Allentown. And from here, even trying on my 2-meter beam... That, that Allentown station is just, just overwhelms it. I can pick it out every once in a while. It fades in and out of here. But uh, sounds great over here on the Internet. <laughs> and there's Charger. Go ahead, Breger. Thanks for stopping by and checking in to Classic Radio Roundup. Your host, Spitfire 441, on this Regency Formula 23. Monday night, so a lot of football Monday night. Make sure you got your pizza ordered and your beer 
cold. from you and towards me. Yeah, I, I didn't catch where he was headed, man. It, but it certainly sounded like he was driving away from me. Yeah, he's getting stronger this way, but so is this Puerto Mexicubans. Yeah. 
Man, I wonder what was on the menu for train tonight. It must be something good, because he's not back yet. He's not up from the table. He did not push away. There will be no leftovers for tomorrow. Yeah, he must have gone back for seconds, and probably even has dessert. I bet you he does. He's big on that. He, he's a big dessert guy. Classic Radio Roundup, 27115, with all kinds of skip land noise in the background. never good. You got uh, high voltage zapping going on over there too? <laughs> no, no, no. It's just the noise toys just kicked in. I knew it was going to be a bad day when I was hearing that Night Rider theme from Mexico coming in early. Well, at least he's mixing it up a little bit with some new noise toys.
I don't get the, the cheek clicks, though, you know, the, I don't, I don't get that. He's been throwing that in a lot. You hear that? Oh, I get a click about once every second, and somebody told me that was due to uh, some farmer's uh, high voltage uh, wire running around uh, the periphery of his farm. Yep, that's what my dog fence sounds like when it's on. It's one of them livestock high voltage fences. They discharge every second or so, and I hear it in my radio when it's on, but thankfully I don't have to use it anymore. They get zapped a couple of times, and they don't challenge it ever again. Yeah, I understand. Those things are pretty effective. Dogs are smart. They get zapped a couple of times, they know, stay away from that, that hurts. That's for sure, Pavlov's dog. They do learn, quick. Pain and food is the quickest thing to into a dog's head. I think that's all they understand. test your audio and see what your radio sounds like. There's five minutes left on the gate and I need to refresh my coffee cup. 441 on Classic Radio Roundup on a quick hiatus. Okay. Uh, he was opposed to pitching. 
But the Phillies had that extra long, long game that they needed pitchers, so they called him up quicker. Yeah, they had to. They were, they were just playing out of bodies. I'm so sorry they didn't win that game. They should have had, they should have had that one. That's for sure. <laughs> it's a shame we didn't have Wilson Valdez around. <laughs> Remember that game? Okay, four. That was a surprise to everybody when they brought him in to pitch. <laughs> it sure was, man. That was something. I, I watched the whole thing. That was a lot of fun. Yeah, no problem. Uh, okay. 